And welcome to ARC 313, video 19 on this, the penultimate week of the uh, set of uh, YouTube lessons. And what we've got here is just kind of the flat materiality. It's all pretty much done, but now we have to add the shades and shadows to make it come alive. One thing I want to note uh, that I haven't noted in previous lessons is you see that I kind of just like have this um, line that's not perfect. I kind of like that um, on my edge of the, the canvas. But if you don't like that, you can get white artist tape and lay it down on all four sides. And then after you're done painting, you pull that up and you have a nice perfect line down the sides. So if, it, if, if, this is, if this is too messy for you and you'd rather have a little bit cleaner line, then you need to just put the artist tape down. So... Uh, I'm not going to take it to the to the final degree. I'm just going to sh put in the shades right now. And then uh, what you'll have to do is imagine what it's like after you put in the shadows. Because I, I have to wait for the for that to dry to do the shadows. But here, the, the main point is to do the materiality. So you can see what it looks like to get that uh, dark light, dark light, chiaroscuro that's creating this um, feeling of, of board form concrete. And here you see the, the various shades of the um, rusted Corten steel panels. So I did it in four different sections, really five, you know, if you include these as two different ones. And so they're all slightly different, but it doesn't quite matter because these and these are gonna get much darker when we put in the, the shade, which we'll do right now. See, but we wanted it to be the same color as all the other panels that are in the light so that when we add this sh shade, you can just sort of feel the color underneath it, just as a layer right underneath there. And if you put it down too, too thick, you can always just pick it up with the excess, pick up the excess with your paper towel like we did with the translucent glazing. But that feels like it's pretty good. So I hit the other side. And that's making this, this facade pop up, come forward. And these parts that are in the shadow are receding back. The nice thing too about this is the, the Payne's Gray kind of reacts with the rust color to give us the, the feeling of the mill finish still on the steel. You see how that's starting to come forward a little bit more? The same thing would be true for these soffits. In the window alcove. And down in here too. In these little window pop-outs. And there we go. So it's just kind of getting a little bit of differentiation on the painting. So to finish this off, I will come in and hit one more shadow underneath here. Uh, I also will darken up the windows a little bit uh, to get them at that level, especially in the shade. And, you know, I'm going to probably try, I can do this right now. Just hit the chimneys with a slightly different gray. being careful not to touch the stuff I just painted because that will then bleed in. And then, then we'll hit the, um, the, sh the shades, the shadows rather, after everything's done. But you get the point now. 
This is kind of like what we did last week, except the building was mostly white. So now we're doing the same thing on the building, but on a different set of materials. All right, um, that will suffice. Now you can do the bikini residence by the MoM Architects as your homework assignment. And uh, we'll get some more lessons on the last week, next week. Until then, have a great week of painting.